Good morning, guys. Back for another vlog. It's just me today, though. No Stephanie. I'm off on a super adventure with Locke from Ride with Saigon or Saigon Riders motorbikes. And we're taking some trail bikes and we're going to hit the dirt roads outside of the city. So it's another beautiful day here in Ho Chi Minh. And we're taking these bikes for a burn. Hey, Locke. Hi, how are you? Taking these bikes for a burn outside the city. See, Locke's gear. They're getting all geared up and we'll be heading out shortly. All right, guys, so we're kitted up. We got the uh, arm guards, got some knee pads, shin guards, and the helmet with the second GoPro on the top. We're about to head out. hard work yeah. some rough ass tracks there getting through quite a bit of mud uh, bikes doing well I haven't dropped it yet so that's a plus uh, hopefully I won't um, yeah doing well loving it awesome and look where we are we're in the middle of bloody nowhere we've been riding off-road for half an hour going through rice paddies all these back farms fantastic bikes caked in mud Poor lock. Got quite a job to clean that. <laughs> Look at that back tire. My god. How's the ride lock? Good? Oh good, oh good. good. It's, it's a bit dry today. Yeah, thank god, I eh? Because it. it didn't rain yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're lucky. Um hopefully it doesn't rain till we're out of here. Uh looking it's a good. good day. Though. It's a good day today. It's a bit cloudy, not too sunny. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, nice. River here. Lady down there picking some rice. Rice not quite ready yet. Uh, they've probably stopped watering it. They're probably draining the water yeah. to let it dry out. And in about a month or three weeks, they'll be harvesting that. Yeah. Looking good. We're on our way to a worm farm now.
Heavens, some of these potholes are so deep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, so what are they uh, growing earthworms for? Uh, they, uh, they grow the earthworm for uh, the fish, for pet fish. Oh, okay, to sell the, to the pet fish or the fish farms. Yeah, or the fish farm, little fish like it, uh, lots of protein. Yeah, uh, right, yeah. Or the pet bird, the bird like it too. And the owners like it too, it's fun feeding, feeding them to your pet, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they put uh, cow dung and rice husk in here. Yeah, compost like. Yeah. To make the compost. Yeah. Let's see if we can uh, find one. Uh, yeah, here. Oh, there's a really little one. Yeah. There's a bubby. Yeah, here, bigger oh, one. Oh, bigger one. Yeah. So every three days they feed them. Every feed, three days they yeah, feed them with uh, yeah. cow dung mixed yeah. with water. Yeah. And they pour it on. And uh, Locke was telling me the uh, worms only last about three hours, so they've got to get them to town and to market quickly and yeah. sell them directly. Yeah. Um, more than three hours, they get hot and they die. Yeah. So that's why they're in this shaded area, in a small rubber plantation. We can see here the scarring of the tree and the little pot that collects the rubber. Oh, it's fresh. I think that's uh, that this morning or yesterday. Yeah. The ghetto. Nice poor tree, so. Um, but yeah, if you don't scar them too much, it doesn't damage the tree. But so anyway. Every, like, every six months, they, uh, they sell the compost. As uh, well? Fertilizer. Oh, for fertilizer. Yeah. Okay, because then the worm shits in the compost and yeah. makes it even better. So it's good yeah. for garden centers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, because Saigon's a really big market, as Luck was saying. Lots of people have lots of fish and also uh, birds. And there are fish farms. That's how a lot of fish is cultivated these days. So nice that they're getting natural food in worms. Uh, better than the manufactured chemical based food that often is fed to fish all right where are we off to now uh we're heading to uh the rice paper uh making by like family oh. yeah righto rice so we'll paper. go and see how they make rice paper yeah awesome sounds oh. good Alright guys, we're at another stop now. Apologies for my helmet hair. I don't know what it looks like, I can't see properly. Um, we're now at the rice paper drying farm. All of this is rice paper and this is the pattern that, that it will have. Rice paper is used uh, for many things. They use it for pancakes, they use it for uh, fresh spring rolls most notably. Um, even fried spring rolls. Yeah. So they just moisten it before deep frying it just so it can roll. Otherwise it's sold in sheets. Cut it up into sheets and that's the way it is. And filming lock, filming me. So we've got a nice friendly dog there too. Uh, not friendly. If you know me, I'm a bit nervous of uh, street dogs, farm dogs. But anyway, he seems to be keeping his distance. It's really dry coming off the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so we can hear it crackling as it moves off of the uh, uh, bamboo very nice that'll be someone's spring roll that I just touched <laughs> all right and then here's where all the magic happens wow look at this hello hello Fantastic. Big production. Big production indeed. Not friendly. 
Sarah is taking sheet after sheet off of these bamboo racks. Then the sheets, I presume, will be cut up and uh, sent to market. Where do they sell the uh, sheets? Well, again, and then, uh, yes, out to the market. Just in the markets? Yeah, yeah, have. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't go to like uh, a wholesaler. A, whole buyer. a, a yeah. wholesaler buys it. Okay. And there's more at the back here too, working hard. Good, yes. Nice. Then they're bringing the sheets of rice paper out to the front of the store here where they're going to cut them. Shoes off. So the cutting machine. It's a man with the important job. Whoa. Whoa. So now they're short. Uh, Coochie, <laughs> somewhere. Coochie district. Oh, Coochie district, somewhere. Coochie is famous for the tunnels. You yeah, probably. Not, not, we're not far from the tunnel. Yeah. We're not far from the tunnels? Yeah, yeah so. That's original uh, product yeah, in this area. Yeah, right. Straight from the farmer to the market. Yeah. Excellent. And we're not far from Chu Chi. Uh, Coochie. Coochie, yeah. Coochie. We're not far from Coochie tunnels here. Um, you've probably heard of them. They're the underground tunnels where the uh, Vietnamese used to hide from the Viet Cong in the war. I'm not going there, but um, yeah, this area is quite famous and sees a lot of tourists, although not here. This is something quite different. All right, so this is where they mix the... Uh, rice flour and tapioca they use a lot of tapioca in vietnam which i didn't know so big vats of it here mix it together and then they put it in this machine you can see some's in there already and it goes through the conveyor belt that uh, lays it out in a nice thin uh, sheet and then the sheet is put onto these bamboo mats home business, family business, maybe a community business. Very interesting to see it. So we can see it from flour, starch, all the way to the finished product. Fantastic. Nice glimpse inside uh, a very important part of Vietnamese culture. They use rice paper for many, many dishes. So it's only famous with uh, spring rolls in the West. But um, the more time you spend in Vietnam, the more you realize how important uh, rice paper is. You hear that, guys? Sounds like rain droplets. But it's not. It's actually the rice paper drying shrinking and popping off of the bamboo mat. Okay guys, so we've just checked out the rice paper making uh, factory, a small business here in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Um, we're now going to continue on to a rubber plantation and ride along the Saigon River. So let's suss that out. Um, Let's hope there's not as much water on that track as there was on the one we've just come on. That was pretty wild, some of that. Anyway, very enjoyable. I'm wet, especially on one leg. Totally muddy. 
the uh, potholes were deeper than they looked, eh? I saw you with your legs up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know that. Yeah, I had mine up too, but obviously not far enough on one of them. All right, let's do it. guys we've made it this far there's even a sign that says congratulations fan bendo so we're at a bendo here which is a ferry we're gonna take the ferry across from here across the other side we're gonna ride through a rubber plantation down there and then we're gonna hit the road and continue back to Ho Chi Minh so far it's been good it's starting to rain unfortunately the weather's closing in on us but it might pass it doesn't really look that much but of course on uh, muddy roads it doesn't have to be much that last section of road uh, red dirt looks like it's dry on top but underneath it's a little bit wet so you lose that back wheel occasionally sliding out um, yeah not my bike so it's a little bit hairy but yeah very good very enjoyable I'm exhausted though of course I haven't ridden off-road for years so uh, it's nice for me to have the opportunity again so if you're looking for this kind of experience contact lock lock right. from saigon riders i'm from saigon riders saigon riders yeah so make sure you look him up uh offers all kinds of tours all over the country take you out dirt bike riding anywhere in fact i'm sure you could even pick the destination and he'd figure out an itinerary for you Awesome. Saigon River. We're way upstream from Ho Chi Minh City. Heading over here on the opposite bank. We're gonna about to go through a huge rubber plantation. Should be good. Hopefully it's not too wet in there. So we've just stopped off for a little photo shoot. As you can see, it's an awesome uh, leading line there, the road the bike in the middle of the road and here we are in this rubber plantation incredible really incredible and we can even see some rubber dripping here some fresh rubber Okay, so we've just stopped for a little bit of a photo shoot in the rubber plantation here. <laughs> what a better place is there? There's none, no better place. Look at this. Awesome. Look at that. Whoa. Anyone who loves motorbikes will know what I'm talking about. That's awesome. 
ripping up these rubber plantations, ripping up these rice paddies. Awesome. The trails through them are wet and soggy, but it doesn't matter. We're having great fun getting dirty. Getting very dirty. <laughs> I'm filthy. In fact, I don't think I'll be able to get a taxi back. I think I'm going to have to uh, go on a motorbike back home. I'm not going to be able to get in a car. No one will take me. <laughs> All right. guys we've just gone through the rubber tent plantation and we've made a stop off here at a little uh, roadside convenience store no. old matey got me a sprite no. ah, good 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 bike yes good bike xr125 xr80 i uh, learned to ride on an xr80 when i was 12 years old so this one's an XR125. So in all these years I've gone up 45cc. Yes, the rain, no good. Yes. So as I said, it's uh, stinking hot. Uh, apologies for the helmet hair. And I've probably got dirt all over my face. We've been through some rough roads. But really enjoying it. I think uh, we're heading back towards Ho Chi Minh now. So that's the end of an awesome day's adventure. All right, so we're on our way back. We've just stopped for some barbecue beef. Hungry ass. Park the bikes up. So, how, how close are we to Ho Chi Minh? From here to Ho Chi Minh is about 50k, 60k. About 50 or 60k? Yeah. Wow, we've come that far, eh? Yeah. So we came like 100 kilometers today. More? Yeah, more. I think it's 130 something. Yeah. Wow. There's a little roadside restaurant. Looks good. Yeah. All right, so we got a bowl of fur. Herbo. Got some lovely herbs as usual with Vietnamese food. And we're also having some beef barbecue. Look at that marinated chili and garlic. And Locke's going to put it straight on. Cook that up. Wow, a nice big bit of beef. You spicy? Not too much, yeah. You too, not too much. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Barbecue beef. Delicious. It's awesome how in these countries they can just whip up a barbecue so simply. Whereas for us, we never do this in a restaurant. Delicious. And look at that, we've got rice. Fur, herbs, chili, lime, pepper. I've got a giant bowl of fur. I'll never eat all that, but I'll try. Awesome. Well, all right, guys, what an awesome tour. Uh, if you're really looking for some adventure and you can ride a motorbike, do get in touch with Locke. You'll have a great day out. Uh, I'll link his uh, business down below in the description. You'll find it there. Um, look at this meal we've just had. What a spread. Uh, delicious steak, 
uh, bowl of fur, plenty of salad and vegetables, a coke, a coffee. Uh, fantastic day out. Unfortunately it is raining. If we just swing around we can see the bikes are getting a nice wash and it looks like we might get a bath on the way home. But that's alright. Um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you in the next one where girls on the loose. Thank you. Bye bye. If you like riding dirt bikes, you've got to get in touch with Locke. I swear you'll have the best day ever. I certainly did.